All cameras have a native ISO, which is the most optimal setting to get the cleanest image possible. But sometimes when shooting low light, you have to push past that. Or depending on what camera you have, digital noise could just be a baseline issue. But depending on the level of noise, you can reduce or eliminate that pretty easily in post. So today we're looking at a few ways you can do exactly that. Before we get into direct denoising, there are some clips that will clean up well enough through color correction alone. For instance, if we look at this clip in log, it's pretty noisy. But again, that may disappear once we add our conversion LUT, which we can do by going to Windows, Lumetri Color, then selecting the appropriate LUT here under Basic Correction. But you may also have an underexposed shot with a good amount of noise, and in the process of grading, you could find that noise worsening. In this case, you could potentially hide that noise by bringing the shadows down and increasing the midtones and highlights. You can do this by going back to Lumetri, opening up the Curves tab, and set three points like this. This bottom point will affect the shadows, the middle one, the midtones, and the top point will be the highlights. Adjust the midtones and the highlights while trying to keep the shadows as is or lowering them a bit to hide any unwanted noise. Raising the shadows will only make the noise stick out more, so, you know, don't do it. The goal here is to use the midtones and highlights as a way to keep the focus off any noise, and the shadows will dip those areas down to clean up there as well. If a slight correction isn't helping, you'll need to turn to actual denoising. We have a noisy clip here in our timeline to work with. So first we're gonna go to our effects tab, then video effects, immersive video, and drop in VR denoise. Chances are you're gonna get this sort of milky, overly smooth look to your image. To fix this, lower the noise level as much as you can. Something like 0.05 or even less will stay subtle and be more effective. If neither of those methods are working for you, then you can try taking your footage over to After Effects by right-clicking your clip and tapping Replace with After Effects Composition. Inside the software, go to Effects, Noise and Grain, and drop on Remove Grain. Right away, you'll notice this box pop up. This acts as a preview for your noise reduction. If you want to compare noise and make sure you're not pushing it, you can move your preview region around by changing the center coordinates or dragging this middle icon here. Inside of Noise Reduction Settings, you can lower or raise the amount of reduction you would like and if you wanted to bring back some detail, you can lower the passes number a bit. Once you're ready, change the view mode to final output and the effect will be added to the entire clip. If you find yourself often dealing with noisy footage, then your best bet is to turn to a third-party plugin that purely focuses on denoising your image. Plugins like Neat Video or Denoiser 3 from Maxon are both great options and will do the job. If I drop on Denoiser 3, you'll immediately notice the difference. I can leave this as is or adjust the settings to fine-tune my image and tighten up the noise a bit further. And as a final touch to any denoise, regardless of what I'm using, I will often add a subtle amount of grain back in to keep it all feeling organic. But that's it for today. If you have a preferred method of denoising that we didn't cover, share with the class by posting below. And if you have something you'd like to see us cover in the future, feel free to drop us a comment there too. And don't forget to like and subscribe because bananas are berries, but strawberries are not.